CompTIA ITF plus complete training course. Exam Objective 4.2 Given a scenario, use programming organizational techniques and interpret logic. While loops. For this video, we will discuss while loops. A while loop is a programming construct that repeatedly executes a block of code as long as a specified condition remains true. The loop continues to run until the condition evaluates to false, at which point the program moves on to the next section of code outside the loop. A while loop is best used in situations where you don't know beforehand how many times the code needs to be executed, and you want the loop to continue until a certain condition is no longer met. We will now take a closer look at the decision portion of this while loop. A while loop starts with a condition check. Before entering the loop, the condition specified in the while statement is evaluated. If the condition is true, the code inside the loop is executed. If the condition is false from the start, the loop will not be executed at all. For our example, we will be checking if the variable num is a positive integer or greater than zero. To start things off, our variable num is equal to four, so the condition check is num greater than zero will evaluate to true. This will cause us to execute the code within the while loop. Next, we will receive an integer from a user that will be assigned to the num variable and replace our current value. Here we will assume the value 2 was provided as an input. Here our program will perform some type of process and then we will return back to the condition check of the while loop. At this point we have completed the while loop once. Now it is time to reevaluate and see if the condition statement of the while loop is still true. Here we can see that the variable num, which is now equal to 2, is indeed still greater than 0, so we will execute the code within the while loop a second time. So again, we will receive an integer from a user that will be assigned to the num variable and replace our current value. This time we will assume the value minus 1 was provided as an input. Here our program will perform some type of process and then we will return back to the condition check of the while loop. At this point we have completed the while loop twice. Now it is time to once again reevaluate and see if the condition statement of the while loop is still true. Here we can see that the variable num, which is now equal to minus 1, is no longer greater than 0, so we will not execute the code within the while loop anymore. Since the condition check has now evaluated to false. We will continue with any remaining code statements or in our case, reach the end of the program. Now that we got the flow of things, let's take a look at a while loop using some pseudocode and walk through the code line by line. For our pseudocode example, we will keep things very simple. First up, we will declare a variable with the identifier x and initialize it with the value of 0. On line 2, we see a condition statement for a while loop. Our condition statement calls for our program to check if x is less than 2. Since the value of the variable x, which is currently 0, is less than 2, we will execute the code statements within the loop. The word begin on line 3 is only used here to mark the beginning of the looped code statements. So let's continue on. On line 4, we will reassign the variable x, with the current value of x plus 1. This is a very important part of the while loop. Since the condition check of the while loop is based on the value of x. If our loop does not provide a way for x to be modified in some way that will eventually cause the condition to evaluate to false, we could find our code stuck in an endless cycle, or what is referred to as an infinite loop. On line 5, our program prints out the value of variable x, which is now 1. On line 6, we have the word n to mark the end of the looped code statements. Now we head back up to line 2 and start the while loop all over again. This time we perform a reevaluation and check if x is still less than 2. Since the value of the variable x, which is currently 1, is less than 2, we will execute the code statements within the loop again. Next, we see the word begin, this opens our looped code. We reassign x with the current value of x plus 1, making 2 the new value. We print out the value of x, which is currently 2, and append it to the previous output of 1. Next, we see the word end, this closes our looped code. And finally, we pop back up to the top of the loop to perform our condition check a third time. This time we see that x is equal to 2, but no longer less than 2, so our condition evaluates to false. This causes our program to move to the next line after the while loop. In this example, since there is no more code, our program is done. Great job! 
In the next video, we will try to solve a few practice questions using what we have learned about while loops. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.